Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick look at your forecast into the rest of the holiday weekend. About halfway through, as we head into Sunday, we are going to be seeing again the potential for some more chances of showers and thunderstorms. They're going to be minimal, but they're still going to be out there. So if you're going to be grilling or at the lake or just loafing off without doing the yard work, yeah, you should be okay with, again, anything involving weather out there. But there is going to be that potential of some outdoor interference. So please keep that in mind if you have any plans for outdoors. Coming up in just a little bit, the forecast, again, is not really changing all that much anytime soon. Things are going to be decently quiet, but they are going to be very warm. If you're checking in tonight, please give us a location. City, state will do nicely, and then also give us an idea as to what the weather's like in your area. Got that thermometer outside the kitchen window. Give us an idea as to what's going on. Wind speed, if you got a high temperature report from today, rain gauge from the last couple of days, please let us know to get and just let us know a little bit more about where you're checking in from in the Mid-South or wherever. That's great. Can't stick around for the entire netcast. All you have to do is check the forecast here. If you'd like to know more about what's going on or go to this website, wreg.com slash weather for more details as to what's happening. Coming up in just a little bit as well, we'll take a look at the tropics, which have gotten very active in the last couple of days. The peak of hurricane season is less than two weeks away. And again, we're looking at some pretty active conditions out out there. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Got pictures? Please share them with us. We'll show you some of your weather pictures in just a little bit that have been shared with us via Facebook in just a little while. For the rest of the evening, again, temperatures pretty toasty out there right now, just past sunset, a few clouds drifting on through, but otherwise not that much going on uh, for this evening. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in for the netcast tonight. Thanks for dropping on by. And again, drop your city, state location. And if you've got a weather report, let's see what the temperatures, the conditions are around your neck of the woods and let us know a little bit more about where you're checking in from from out there. High temperature today. This was about as typical for the first day of September as you could possibly get. High temperature of 91. Normal for this time of the year is 90. 72, the low this morning. Low average is 70. Record high hasn't been broken since 2000. That's 102 degrees. No rain today. We're still fairly far ahead for the year. So doing okay on the rainfall, but could use a little bit more if at all possible. Nice sunset taking place from Olive Branch, Mississippi. Getting a little dark, so the camera adjusting right there. And Venus, bright point of light in the southwestern skies out there. Some pretty decent planets still visible out there. If you want to go out and take a look and see what's going on with, again, a nice sky show. Also, if you're heading out tonight, Michigan City, Mississippi, the Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding a public viewing session starting right now. That's, again, in Michigan City, Mississippi. More information about that, if you'd like to go join them, take a look through the telescopes. All you have to do is, again, go to my social media websites for more, and that's in the blue bar at the bottom of the screen down there. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in for this morning. Jackson, Tennessee, Gary Pilkington at the Generals game. Thank you very much for checking in there. Katie slaughter Rutenberg. hope I'm saying that right, warm in Dyersburg. Thank you very much uh, for checking in there for right now. Uh, Lisa cannon Mergle, wind, question uh, mark. If you're asking me, there's not much. If, you would like to, if you'd like to know, if we'd like to know about uh, your wind speeds and direction, sure, go ahead and say that. Uh, thanks a lot for everybody for tuning in. Wendy taylor Harrell, South Haven hot, 90 degrees in Bartlett. John Michael, thank you very much uh, for that one. 82 degrees in clear in Newburgh. Don Garner, thank you very much, and 86 and Muggy in Covington, Peanut Short. Thanks for checking in. Shelby Farms tonight, sunset just a few minutes ago. And again, a beautiful clear sky out there for right now. And also looking back to the south-southwest from around the area of our Hilton East Memphis camera, towers of Poplar and Mendenhall, Poplar, and then back toward around the area of downtown Memphis on the horizon. A little hazy out there. That's the pollutants in the atmosphere settling down toward the ground. Pretty typical for a large metropolitan area at this time of the day. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms down to our south. We don't have a lot of activity left just south of Oxford, if you look south of there through southern Lafayette County, you might be able to see some of those clouds popping up and maybe some of the lightning down just to the, around the area of Greenwood, Mississippi. But beyond that, we have little, if anything, going on throughout the rest of West Tennessee, East Arkansas, and northern Mississippi. Paulette Morrow, 83 in New Bern, Tennessee. Warm up there. Thank you very much. Peggy Speck, 74 to 75 in Pocahontas. 
Not much rain to report at this time. And Sam Dunnigan, still warm around Sardis, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from there. Temperatures around the Mid-South on live real-time weather net 3. Mid to upper 80s out there. Cooler around Dyersburg, 82 degrees right now, but those heat indexes are still with us thanks to the humidity in the air. Feels like 94 at U of M Earth Sciences in Memphis. This information on your computer system, very easy to get there. Go again to our main website, wreg.com slash weather, and click on the weather bug icon at the top portion of your menu, and you'll be able to access this information and find the closest location for live real-time weather information out there for right now. Sean Gilliam, Memphis Chef, please tell me fall temps are on the way. Sure, I can tell you that, just not immediately. Sorry about that, unfortunately, for right now. And as of right now, let's see what we got. Uh, Providence, Rhode Island, Janet Lynch Griffith. Thanks for checking in. Uh, one of the farthest away for tonight. Thank you very much for that one. John Michael, good question. Would you rely on tornado sirens or weather radio? I would have as many ways possible of getting in contact with weather information. Television, radio, internet, tornado sirens, all of that. I would not depend on just one. Tornado sirens, again, used to be a lot easier to be heard because houses used to be a lot less firmly and well-constructed, so it was a lot easier to hear those things. Nowadays, with closed-off atmospheres inside for heat and air conditioning, it's next to impossible to hear those things, so you have to have something that you can get in touch with, including, again, cell phone apps and information directly from the National Weather Service. Our weather app is a good way to get that as well, so something to tune in for there, but very good question, Mr. Michael. Thank you very much for that. Joan Gray, 87 in Guys, Tennessee. Thank you very much for checking in there. As of right now, throughout the rest of the evening, again, not much outside of a few stray sprinkles popping up, and that should be about it. Throughout the rest of the morning, through News Channel 3 Daybreak, doesn't really look like much right now. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s, and a few stray sprinkles and maybe a thunderstorm popping up from time to time tomorrow, but not a great chance, unfortunately, from right now. It doesn't really look like too much of a major uh, condition for the time being at this time. Lisa Cannon Mergle, how much on tree allergies? Actually, uh, if you go to wreg.com slash weather, we have a page on the graphics section that shows pollen information and a link to, I believe, pollen.com. So if you'd like to take a look and see what's available there, again, at wreg.com, you can see a little bit more about that one for right now. Wanda Marie Dawson Henderson feels pretty good in Ripley, Tennessee. Thank you for checking in there. And feels good in Somerville. Felicia Towles Jackson, or Tolls Jackson, thank you very much uh, for checking in from there for the time being. Feels good in Memphis. William Glasper, thank you very much uh, for checking in. Rest of the afternoon tomorrow, once again, Almost exactly the same thing from what we've seen over the last few days. Temperatures will be back very close to normal, briefly in the lower 90s, and that's going to be about it. Now, in meteorology, there's a term called persistence forecasting. It basically means that little, if anything, is going to be changing anytime soon. So this forecast, the one you experienced today, the weather today in the Mid-South, the forecast for tomorrow, and for the next several days, little, if anything, is going to change at this point in time. So temperatures through the holiday on Monday, again with that slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm, getting back to work or school on Tuesday, and all the way throughout the rest of next week, this is the recipe you're looking for. Highs in the lower 90s each day across the Mid-South, lows in the lower to mid-70s, and there's that chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, most numerous toward the end of next week. Hopefully that's not going to spell a problem for Friday night football, but we'll be keeping our eyes on that throughout the rest of the week, so stay tuned for more on that. Now, there are signs, small, but starting to get a little bit more noticeable out there, that we may see a bit of a decent downturn in the temperatures, but not until mid-September. If this proves to be true, and again, it's way too far to tell at this point in time, even beyond this forecast here, toward about mid-September, it looks to be a pretty good possibility of dropping the temperatures pretty radically, maybe even into the upper 70s for highs as we go toward mid-September. Now again, you're thinking, okay, great, that sounds wonderful, that's perfect for this time of the year. It can happen, just it's not all that often because this right here is spot on normal for this time of the year. So starting again into around close to autumn, we're going to be seeing temperatures remain pretty summer-like throughout the course of the next several days. So persistence forecasting at its finest, 
not much of anything is going to be changing here for right now. So good news on that one. Chad Kraska flooding in Wisconsin. Hope everybody's staying safe uh, from that one. So again, keep it tuned uh, to your local media for more information on that. We'll touch on this coming up in just a little bit. Storm system, basically a disorganized mess over the Caribbean. That could have a problem later on. But first, I want to talk about Florence. It is a tropical storm. It is gaining strength right off the west coast of Africa. And over the next several days, it appears to be what's called a fish storm. Yes, you heard me on that. Basically, it means that it's only going to be bothering the fish out here and not any threat to land. So good news on that. But a couple of systems possibly two or three lining up behind this out into Central Africa, and that could spell some more problems as it moves over the warmer waters of the Atlantic. We could be looking at numerous storms over the next several days as we approach the peak of hurricane season, which is September 10th. So that's something we're going to have to watch, again, very carefully out there. Now, we want to talk about this system that is right over the Bahamas and into around areas just north of Hispaniola. It's just basically wandering amounts of rain and thunderstorms, but it is becoming a little bit better organized for tonight. And National Hurricane Center is showing a general motion of making its way into the Gulf of Mexico into the course of the next several days. Now, again, so far it doesn't appear to be a problem, but it is starting to develop a little bit more tonight. The National Hurricane Center is now giving this about a 50% chance of development that is way up from the last couple of days, which means confidence is increasing that from southeast Texas through West Florida, somewhere in here we could be looking at a new system, a new organized system, tropical depression, tropical storm, hurricane, little too early to tell. The waters of the Gulf at this time are about as warm as a bathtub. That's not good news because that's what these systems need to really grow and expand and become stronger. So next week, anything past Monday through the end of the week, from, say, Tampa, St. Pete, all the way back to Houston, New Orleans, Mobile, into around the Florida Panhandle, and into the southeastern United States, you need to watch this storm if you're going to be traveling in that direction. And from Florence and those other storms out there, we're approaching the time frame where we really have to pay attention to what's going on. Now, the main thing for us, if this moves up into this area, the rotation around this storm will bring a lot of moisture-rich air off the Gulf and the Atlantic and dump it over the southeast United States. That could really up our chances of rainfall into the course of the next couple of days. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more updates on that. Lee Campbell from Batesville, Mississippi. Nice view of a lightning backlit storm from earlier this week. Appreciate that one. Mary Williamson, sunrise in Cordova. Beautiful view from earlier during the month. Apologies, did not get this uh, shown earlier, but Facebook, unfortunately, kind of dribbling out the amount of graphics that we get these days for some reason, having a connection problem with the emails, and this only arrived a couple of days ago, so thank you, Ms. Williamson, for that. Terry Anderson from the storms earlier this week, flooding around Walnut Grove, just to the east of Germantown Road, where that swale and the roadway is located, and the floodwaters just come rushing right on down across there before they head down to the uh, Wolf Creek area. And Valerie Belvin Simmons, nice view from East Memphis as those storm clouds make their way on past in and around the East Memphis area, looking to the northwest of her location. If you've got weather pictures, please share them with us. We'd love to share them with everybody else. Tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3. I'm also on Instagram, also also on Facebook, also again, many different social media locations. Look for me out there. You'll find me someplace. I'll be available at different spots. And my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend via the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 for more information on that. Coming up at about 8.45, I'll have an update on whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military around the world, we'll take a look at some of the places that our soldiers, sailors, and service personnel are settled in and serving for right now as we approach the Labor Day holiday week. Weekend. Not everybody can get home on leave for all the holidays, so we'll try to give you an idea as to what it looks like out there for everything. Questions, concerns, anything on here you'd like to see, please let me know. Again, austin.onic at wreg.com, and please let me know so I can let my bosses know so they can consider it and we can add it to the list here and give you an idea as to what's going on in the near future. We'll have an update on everything coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. Melissa Moon has all the day's news. Megan Rice has an update on sports, and of course, your 
yours truly with information on your forecast, including a new look at the updated tropics forecast. That's all tonight at 10. And of course, I'll be on with Daybreak tomorrow morning on News Channel 3, so stay tuned for more on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee on a very quiet Saturday evening, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the holiday weekend.